Gold, running out soon. Hello friends, gold, 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 gold. That one shiny metal everyone is crazy about. Lately, gold prices have been skyrocketing. And even with these high prices, people are rushing to buy more and more. In fact, just in 2024 alone, India's gold demand crossed 802 tons. People are saving every bit of their hard-earned money to buy this piece of metal, yellow metal. At this rate, I mean this price, anyone holding even 100 grams of gold today looks like a mini millionaire. But here's the real question. How long will this gold last? Are we really running out of it? And most importantly, how did gold even get inside the earth in the first place? And by the way, if Mars has so much gold, why can't we bring it here? We will break all this down today. So don't skip a second of this video. And hey, if you love useful and mind-blowing topics like this, subscribe to our channel right now and hit that bell icon as well. Alright, let's begin. How much gold is left inside the earth? Friends, to know how much gold is left underground, first we need to understand how gold came to earth in the first place. Here is something surprising. When our planet was formed, there was no gold at all. Yes, gold wasn't born with earth. It came from outer space. Billions of years ago, as our planet slowly took shape, asteroids and remnants of dying stars started colliding with Earth. During those massive explosions in space, tiny gold particles spread across the universe and later fell onto our planet through meteors. Not just gold, elements like iron, platinum and uranium also came the same way, but in different quantities, of course. Most of these metals sank deep into the Earth's core. So originally, there was no gold near the surface. But then, about 4 billion years ago, a massive asteroid bombardment happened on Earth. Huge space rocks crashed into Earth and that impact brought some of the buried gold up toward the surface, into the mantle and the crust of the planet Earth. Those are the upper layers of the earth. That is when humans could start finding it. Later, volcanic eruptions pushed even more gold up and people began mining and using it. Historians say gold was already in use around 7000 years ago, around 4000 BC in regions like Mesopotamia and Eastern Europe. People were mining and using gold. And today, of course, it is used across all six continents. Will gold run out in 25 years? Yes, friends, after thousands of years of mining, we are finally reaching the last chapters of Earth's gold supply. That doesn't mean gold will vanish because gold is indestructible. Whatever gold we have already mined will keep circulating among us in jewelry, coins, electronics and vaults. But what will decline is the production rate, the amount of new gold we can pull from the ground each year that will go down. According to the US Geological Survey by 2021, humans had already mined around 205,000 tons of gold. Two thirds of that came out in just the last 80 years. Since the 1950s, if we gather every bit of gold ever mined and compress it into a single massive cube, it would measure just 77 feet on each side. That's it. And now, here is where that gold is today. Jewelry, more than 94,000 tons, that is around 46% of all gold. Bars and coins, that is more than 45,000 tons, that is around 22%. And separately, central banks also hold gold bars, that is more than 34,000 tons, or around 17% of total gold. And in other forms, it is more than 30,000 tons, or around 15% of total gold. At this rate, 
experts say that by 2050 global gold production will sharply decline because according to current estimates only 50000 metric tons of gold remain in the ground and since we are mining around 2000 to 3000 tons every year it means that within next 25 years our existing gold mines might not have much left to give take kola gold field in karnataka kgf as an example when mining started there, one ton of ore gave 47 grams of gold. But by 1990, that number dropped to just 3 grams per ton of ore. Today, almost nothing. This same pattern is seen in many mines across the world. Mining is getting costlier. Machines, skilled workers and deeper digging make it expensive. So many mining companies are already slowing down or shutting operations. But there is another side. Yes, some experts disagree. They say, wait, gold mining isn't over yet because new technologies can help us discover more hidden deposits. For instance, regions in West Africa and other remote zones still have massive untapped gold reserves. And not just on the Earth's surface. Scientists believe there is far more gold under the ocean floor than in all surface mines combined. Remember, 70.8% of Earth's surface is water and only 29.2% is land. So it is likely that the ocean bed holds the largest share of gold. Some estimates say the ocean contains around 20 million tons of gold that is worth about 771 trillion dollars but the problem we don't yet have the technology to extract it economically if we ever figure that out gold might actually become cheaper gold beyond earth yes friends there is gold beyond our planet too research confirms that both the moon and mars have traces of gold but mining it is another story First, reaching there itself is insanely difficult in today's technology. Second, even if we mine it, the cost of bringing it back to the earth would be higher than the gold's actual value. So that is why right now no one is interested in that much. Even on earth, places like Antarctica are believed to hold rich gold deposits. But the extreme weather and harsh terrain make mining there nearly impossible. Can we make artificial gold? Now this is one of the most fascinating questions. Can we make gold artificially? The short answer is technically yes, but practically no. Here's why. Gold atoms have 79 protons and 118 neutrons in their nucleus. To create gold, you would have to rearrange subatomic particles basically convert one element into another that is only possible during nuclear reactions like those inside exploding stars are when two neutron stars collide here on earth we simply cannot generate that kind of energy in a controlled way to produce gold now some scientists did try in 1924 a japanese physicist named hantaro nagaoka bombarded mercury atoms with neutrons and yes, he created tiny traces of gold. Later, in 1972, Soviet scientists found gold traces in lead shielding used in nuclear reactors. And in 1980, American chemist Glenn Seaborg did something similar and he successfully turned a few atoms of lead into gold. But here's the catch. The cost of doing that was far greater than the value of the gold produced itself. So even though it is scientifically possible, it is completely impractical. In space, when massive stars explode or neutron stars collide, they release unimaginable amounts of energy. And that is when elements like gold are born. But our sun, even with all its power, cannot make gold because it doesn't reach those extreme conditions. So the conclusion artificially producing gold in usable quantities is impossible for now. Top gold producing countries. When it comes to mining, China is number one in gold production, followed by Russia and Australia. But when it comes to buying and owning gold, no one beats India. Most of India's gold exists in the form of jewelry 
almost every indian woman owns some piece of gold jewelry and even many men wear it proudly in india according to data indian households together hold around 21733 tons of gold jewelry that is nearly 10% of the world's total gold from temples to the reserve bank of india every corner of the country glitters with gold so friends gold isn't just a metal it's a story of cosmic explosions ancient civilizations and our own obsession with wealth and beauty whether we mine it from the earth or some day from the stars it reminds us that what we value most was once born from the violent heart of the universe itself now what do you think on this story please let us know your thoughts on the comment section below and if you like this video please don't forget to like share and especially please don't forget to subscribe to our channel because for a new channel like us this is very very important that is why we are requesting you Thank you so much let's meet again keep looking for better namaste